Hello everybody, welcome to Oslo International Airport. It's your favourite Aussie abroad, Winstone. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another Winstone travel vlog. Today I'm reviewing the Brussels Airlines flight uh, from Oslo to Brussels and then en route to Nice in the Côte d'Azur in France. So I'm going to be checking in, maybe doing like a coffee review, maybe getting a little bit of brekkie along the way. And we'll just see what the, the Brussels Airlines flight is all about. I've never done it before. So yeah, just making content and let's get into the video. That's the wrong one, thank you. Thank you. So we're just walking through the gangway towards the flight. Nice and early here. It's about minus one degree local. Good morning. Okay, as we can see, it's zero degrees here in Oslo and raining conditions, but we're running about 15 or 20 minutes behind schedule, but it's A-OK, -okay. and we're about to take off, so join me on the journey and we'll see how we go. So here I am in the laboratory. Good toilet. Okay, water pressure good, nice and warm. Soap for your cleansing needs. And even though I've given up smokes, clearly you can't smoke it now. But laboratory, A okay. So as you can see, the flight is pretty empty, which is good for me. So plenty of leg room, plenty of space. I've got a window seat now. No Wi-Fi, so that's the first thing for these, I suppose, only like one and one hour, 20 minute flights, it's not good. It's always good to have Wi-Fi. Most carriers do offer free connection for like 15 minutes, maybe half an hour on the majority of the European airlines, so that's the first thing, but um, as far as the leg room, really good, I'm not sure if they'll bring out a breakfast menu or not, because the flight's only an hour and 20 minutes, so maybe a quick coffee, so we'll try that out, but yeah, so nice and early, and hopefully it's a nice smooth flight. So we've landed in Brussels, overcast day as you can see, but the staff were lovely on the plane. And I'm going to go literally to, to A52, I'm at A50, we go to A52, so not too far to travel. Welcome to Belgium, Brussels airport, just here at the vending machines and I'm going to grab myself a cappuccino probably. On board now. It's a 90 minute flight to Nice and yeah, Brussels Airlines, pretty good. Just basic, it's, you know, no frills, um, but they're reliable. All the standard features, window shutters. Let's take a look at the menu. So welcome to the winter edition 2022 Brussels Bistro on Brussels Airlines. 
pure, honest, healthy and simply good food. So daily deals, menu deals. Eight euro for a wrap or sandwich, a bottle of water, coffee, muffin or waffle for five euro, lasagna, chicken sweet and sour, and any soft or hot drink. Votre commandant, Monsieur Herman, après 20 heures de vol de 1h30, je m'appelle Nathalie, je suis votre chef de cabinet au nom de tout l'équipage. Je vous souhaite un excellent voyage. Et quelques doors, flight de chaque My favorite uh, page, not that I'll be drinking <laughs> at this time of the day. The Ju Jupiter FIFA edition. It's a wine. I'm approximately 40 minutes outside of Nice. As you can see, the further south that you come from Norway, the more beautiful the weather is, closer to the equator, and that is the end result. So I believe Nice is approximately 9 or 10 degrees today and it's going to be sunny so a little bit chilly but sunny so it should be good and so far the flight good I would say this airline Brussels is good but it's just basic it's you know got all your standard a la carte it's got you know all your standard beers etc all your meals um, but basically it's yeah pretty much a no frills European airline from what I can gather so far on my two flights but anyway I hope you've enjoyed the travel vlog and we'll see what the weather has to offer in Nice coming up Thank you so much for watching another Winstone travel vlog. So, look, all in all, I gave Brussels Airlines about a 3.5 out of 5. Pretty much a no frills airline, reliable, it was on time, friendly staff, but didn't really have anything exceptional about it. A basic menu, no Wi Fi, which I was a little bit disappointed about. And um, just for all those plain buffs, so it was actually an A3. 20 um, that I was actually flying on both legs of today's flight. So look, um, back here in, in Nice, I'm going to go watch the mighty Socceroos v the Danish Denmark. So uh, it's a winner takes all basically about. Australia need to win or draw and I just hope uh, France don't get knocked off by Tunisia. Pretty much uh, destiny's in our own hands. Up the Socceroos. We're back here in France. Stay tuned for the journeys up in the French Alps in Morzine. I'll be doing plenty of snow content. And thank you so much for watching. And please consider buying me a coffee, guys. Would appreciate it. Au revoir. Take care. And I'll see you guys soon.